Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about something that's going to be challenging because it, it, there's no question there are too many variables for it to be decisive uh, because you've got wind, you've got altitude, you've got different ball types, you've got different swing speeds, you've got different types of ball rotation in terms of amounts, top spin or back spin. Hitting flat is very difficult anyway because most balls have a little bit of rotation. But in this tip, we're going to talk about how spin affects ball flight before the bounce. Now, in tennis, picture tennis, it's, it's almost an 80-foot court. It's 78 feet long. So with tennis, you've got a longer area, right, almost twice the length of a pickleball court in which the ball flight to be changed or adjusted by topspin or backspin. Now, backspin means backwards, right? Sometimes it's called underspin or slice or chipping. And topspin is forward spin, so not to confuse the terms. Now, in tennis, the ball being a solid ball, as we've discussed in other tips, Aerodynamically, when you hit with top spin, it creates a high pressure system with greater pressure than pickleball can because pickleballs, after all, have holes in them. So picture an airplane again. We've used this analogy before. If you had an airplane wing and you're, and the, the, you're trying to set up so the plane will descend to land, and if the wing had holes in it, it wouldn't descend as easily. And likewise, it wouldn't lift as easily. So a pickleball has holes, therefore the top spin you hit or the underspin or backspin you hit will have less effect on the ball flight as compared to tennis. Plus, plus, if you hit the ball with a, pick, a pickleball with a pickleball paddle, obviously there are no strings. So there's less grab on the ball to hit more spin and the ball as compared to a tennis ball compresses less. So therefore in pickleball as compared to tennis spin has less effect on the ball flight prior to the ball bounce. Will it have some effect? Yes, no doubt about it. Now we use the pickleball tutor machine, the pickleball tutor plus that can feed with top spin, back spin or flat to test this out and yes we found that you can, right, keep the ball in with a little more control. If you can hit that ball at world-class spin levels of 12, 13, 1400 RPMs or revolutions per minute. But most players can't do that. And this affects what kind of machine we want to purchase as well. Since they are a sponsor for these tips, the Pickleball Tutor line of machines, we wanted to mention that. And the Pickleball Tutor Plus with spin choices Decide based on your playing ability and your aspirations to improve which machine may be right for you. But know this, you've got to hit with a lot of forwards rotation or topspin for it to have impact on the flight of the pickleball before it bounces. Thanks for joining us.